हरी ओम फ्रेंड्स टुडे इट्स अ प्रिवलेज फॉर मी टू डू द चार्ट एनालिसिस ऑफ इसरो साइंटिस्ट एस नंबी नारायण नाउ लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ यू आई हैड नो आइडिया अबाउट दिस ग्रेट पर्सन हु एग्जिस्ट इन आर कंट्री ही बेसिकली वेंट थ्रू ऑल a lot of challenging times professionally and personally as he was falsely implicated in a false as the media says and as the honorable supreme court of india has said spy scandal case and due to such brilliant minds being implicated in such grievous cases has caused great harm to the technology development in our country he was on its he was on his own and of course with the help of his isro team just about to develop a cryogenic engine rocket engine for our rockets and due to this spy scandal by vested interests who did not want india to develop technologies of the future that development was set back by 15 years so i saw his media interviews i saw the movie that recently came uh, that was released uh, about his life story and i was greatly inspired because single handedly fighting the government the state and the central government requires a very very powerful chart most people would crumble so based on that i have determined his birth time and i will explain you why what has happened to him was destined and also how he was able to fight back and get his name and honor restored thanks to a to a very great deal to the major dispensation the central government led by our able prime minister narendra modi who has honored him with padma bhushan and though as he himself says the loss that he and his family have gone through due to this uh, false case can never be repaid back but still it is good to know that the, at the age of 80 his honor and dignity have been restored and this shows in one of his interviews i i like what he said because i believe in that he said i believe in the goodness of people and i will tell you from the bottom of my heart i also believe in the goodness of people i believe that in the end good wins over evil you have to just have the courage to fight that is why i tell people that don't pray to god not to give you tough time he will your prayer to god should be to give you courage to overcome that tough time and that is what nambi sir has done i have not gone through even 1000th of what he has gone through but i being a nuclear scientist many people ask me sir why are you doing astrology you are a nuclear scientist when i see your resume that you have put on kora what are you doing with astrology and i just uh, brush the question aside but the thing is that when i was in my government job in canada there was massive racism systemic racism i had the wrong skin color i had a funny name and at that time india was not what it was what it is today those days for example when i went to the local post office in canada to send a registry the post the clerk that said oh wow you people have a pin code also so basically the west used to imagine that india was still a country where snake charmers are ro- roaming around the road i had the best of degrees from the best of universities and my professors my good professors 
had warned me but i was too naive that you know you will face racism in the workforce because of your accent we speak english in a different accent because we have learned english in india because of your name and because of your skin color they used to also tell me that if you are getting less marks than what you expect please tell me there there are very very nice people in the west but the systemic racism that is there entrenched deeply in the system that you cannot fight with and that also in a country which is basically not your country you know you can become a citizen of that country but it is still you will feel it is not your country your country is india so i knew once i joined my government job i very very quickly came to know that due to factors beyond my control i will not rise high i will just retire maybe get one or two promotions and retire while youngsters less educated than me will be promoted very high i raised my voice and i had to pay heavily for it in terms of my career but today in that same company a lot of minorities have become or are in very very senior positions but still i continue to soldier on i continue with peace in my heart because when i meet my maker at the end of my life i will tell him that i did not bow down i fought i lost maybe i lost but i fought there is a hindi there is a saying or a couplet in hindi and urdu which says girte hain sher sawar maidan e jang mein wo tifl kya girega jo ghutno ke bal chalega the english translation is that in the battlefield warriors do fall and die but what will a person who is already walking in his knees who has stooped so low morally what can that person how there is no he cannot fall any further because he has already fallen he is already walking on his knees so with that i come to the chart analysis of nambi narayan now i knew that he would have a great chart because it is not easy to fight it requires lot of courage he was born on 12th december 1941 in nagarkoil tamil nadu india and i have determined his birth birth time based on seeing the movie seeing his interviews talking uh, uh, basically reading about him and catching his vibrations so it's around 5 am in the morning but regardless the predictions will be accurate this is the astrologically accurate birth time only he knows or his mother knows exactly what time he was born so the intent of birth time determination is to determine the astrologically accurate birth time this is it now nambi sir has is a ascendant scorpio he is very emotional by nature if you if you rub such people the wrong way they will not take it generally they are rebellious emotionally rebellious but very smart they know how to fight back and the best part is he has a very strong sun sitting in his lagna house with mercury powerful mercury that gives him leadership courage par excellence and also a life of luxury and comfort and despite all the challenges that he would face he would be a very very polite and humble person so you do require a powerful lagna house if you have to take on the evil forces that exist in the society and as he said that he believes in the goodness in people in our country and this statement can only be made by a person who has sun auspiciously placed in his lagna house powerful lagna house that is intelligence and courage as i said i also believe in the goodness in this country i believe i strongly believe that in this country and generally around the world at the top people who reach the top they are excellent people
it is only the people in the middle who are creating all these kind of you know red tape corruption and all these problems but now with computerization and digitization they are being slowly eradicated so i also strongly believe in the goodness of people and i have experienced it myself in india overseas people at the top who reach the top they are good that is why these countries that is why our country as we are about to celebrate 75 years of independence is a very stable country his third house has venus that means he is blessed with good looks likes to enjoy life blessed with a very good spouse and his siblings would be supportive to him there would be many people who would come out to support him mainly his relatives and he would have been popular with the opposite sex due to his looks now his fourth house has ketu now this it itself tells me he is not interested in money at all he is not even interested in his inheritance so he doesn't give a damn about money all he cares about is restoring his pride his honor such people with such a powerful lagna house they will not go after money money follows them what they will go after is they will go if you if you hurt their uh, or if you harm their credibility they will go all out and fight for it fifth house of pisces is mars father of healthy children he can be a very good manager a very good team player this is the chart of a military general actually but working as a space scientist now such people have the tendency of rubbing people the wrong way and making enemies but their personalities are so strong that people are afraid from the front to confront them and morally also such people are mostly right so you need people in very high positions to take them down which is what happened with sri nambi narayan and why that happened i'll come to next so if you see his seventh house has jupiter retrograde and enemy position and saturn retrograde at at barely 9 degrees now what that does is first of all that makes his married life despite having a good wife his married and domestic life hell and that is what happened due to him that is what happened to him sorry and this will be directly due to legal issues and due to career now i'll explain you how and due to this his children his whole family life will be turned upside down so just remember that his seventh house the reason for his downfall is his seventh house having retrograde and enemy position jupiter and saturn weakly placed and retrograde with slip into the sixth house just remember this i'll explain it because the mahadashas these mahadashas fall at the time when when he was brought down and also i'll explain you how he was able to overcome this and jump back at the ripe age of 80 now it cannot be ignored that is 10th house has of leo has moon excellently placed at 28 degrees with a slip out into the 11th house name fame mental strength money all is there but rahu is sitting there so that means sudden money will come and also foreign travel authority that is there in his chart now let me explain to you why this brilliant space scientist astrologically why he was taken down by the evil forces corrupt forces and how he was able to reestablish himself this is a fight that every decent human being does some great credit some are victorious some are not but the 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 name of the game is persistence if you have persistence in your fight and that needs a powerful lagna house you will surely win because times do not remain the same times do change and when your good time comes you will get the reward so persistence is the name of the game as will be visible from nambi sir's chart now his jupiter mahadasha started from 81 to 97 that is when 
Due to his powerful chart, his otherwise he's got an excellent chart. He got a job with ISRO. He was rebellious. He was out of the box, and he was supported by his superiors. But also, due to Jupiter being enemy positioned and retrograde, there was always tension brewing in the background. Trouble, legal trouble, out of the box activities by Nambi sir made him a prime target. for powerful forces to be jealous of him and hence in 1990s when he was in his jupiter mahadasha itself he was framed in that espionage case due to his 7th house jupiter which directly impacted him his wife his children and gave him legal trouble for decades to come and i will explain you why so from 81 to 97 despite his powerful chart by the end of his jupiter mahadasha he was in deep trouble he was fighting legal cases his family life and his career was in shambles and i'll tell you why because his next saturn mahadasha was also going to trouble him a lot his saturn was or is retrograde and weak in the 7th house but as i said this is critical gives it a slip in into the 6th house had his next saturn been well placed he would have got relief much earlier but since saturn placement was worse than the placement of jupiter hence for the next 19 years from 2000 sorry from 1997 till 2016 professionally or due to his profession he had to fight and he would have felt many times it's a no win game he was fighting powerful forces who were all out to finish him and planets was not supporting him now i do not know what remedies he was doing but he was not destined to make a name for himself via signs or via his career due to his lagna chart or lagna house he was destined to make a name for himself by being an out of the box rebellious courageous fearless character so throughout his saturn mahadasha or till 2016 he suffered there was no relief but then god listens god had tested him enough and from 2016 his lagna house mercury mahadasha started now here is when astrologically everything started to turn around the cases were taken back supreme court gave him uh, basically cash rewards or compensation but no amount of compensation can do justice for what he had gone through but it was destined additionally the government of kerala it i think it apologized to him and gave him compensation as well the government of india led, led by prime minister narendra modi they awarded him the padma bhushan and restored his honor so in 2014 narendra modi's government came in and they knew see all these political big wigs they know what is actually happening he must have known that this scientist he is done nothing wrong it's just that the political dispensation wants to finish him off and when the prime minister of a country truly believes in you then your time then your time changes and i believe that the present prime minister honorable narendra modi has a big role to play in him coming out uns like i would not say unscathed there have been scars his saturn and jupiter would let him would have left him scars for the rest of his life but got his dignity restored so now that the whole world salutes nambi sir and knows of him there is name fame and money to follow because right now he is going through his lagna house mercury mahadasha and whatever he touches will turn into gold and he is a warrior and i salute such warriors more so as we celebrate our 75th year of independence so my friend my small and humble message is there are many people who are born 
but who are just living just breathing you know they are not able to fight the forces or fight the corrupt forces that are you know always around us but believe me if you do the astrological remedies and get the courage in you to fight then that is called real life because at the end of your life you will not think of the money you have made you will not think of the properties you have made you will not think of all these things you will just think oh my god only if i had had courage in that point of time to fight that person or that force you may lose the fight but at least you fought that is what god sees that is what god judges you for that you stood up for yourself and for the weak or did you just you know compromise so hari om and god bless you and may god give 175 more years of blessedness and good vibrations to our great nation and may this become one of the most powerful nations in the world which it is destined to be because our minds are brilliant minds hari om and jai hind